record-breaking feat in the BTCC. So many titles in so little years. A record-breaking moment for BMW. Dick Bennett's BMW WSR team this year won a record-breaking seven titles, a feat unmatched in the 65 years of the British Touring Car Championship. And to tell us more, we have a very own mechanic, Spencer. He's been working with Colin Turkington for the last few years, and he'll tell us exactly how BMW and WSR achieved the success throughout the years and throughout his time being there. So please welcome Spencer. Uh, I would say that as a team, from a mechanics perspective of how we dealt with pressure, it'd be, we didn't really change. Um, obviously we have our ways of doing stuff, so we're in a championship fight, but that doesn't necessarily mean we change the way we work. Everything was still done to the level it should have been done at. To produce the car for the drivers to go out and race the way they do and perform, pick up points for the championships. Uh, brands, when it got quite close, and it was, you could tell there was tension, there was pressure, but you just keep your cool and make sure the car doesn't have any problems. So obviously, it's, it's up to the driver. And uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't say we was phased with pressure at any time. I'd say in preparation for a race weekend, we, um, after a race, we'll get the car back, strip it down, fully service everything, crack check, better check all the bends, make sure everything's straight, um, crack check the shell, subframes, um, service everything, so it's all like new when it goes back on the car. Uh, after the rebuild, we will uh, we'll do a shakedown on the car to just make sure everything's settled in nicely and uh, nothing's unhappy and gives us a chance to deal with any problems that might occur before we get on track for FP1 and uh, yeah that's pretty much it when it comes to preparing a car. I would say that the drivers are relatively close with the team obviously being so competitive as a team I think it's quite important to have a good relationship with your drivers. Um, obviously for us, the drivers have been in and out of the garage, or they would come to the workshop all the time. So you develop a relationship with them and they gain, like, once they know their crew, they can trust and that's the biggest thing. Like If a driver doesn't trust the work going on his car, he's always going to have that doubt in his mind, isn't he? Whereas if he trusts his drivers and his crew, then he can go out and give it everything without any doubt. But uh, yeah, I'd say our, our three, Jake, Colin, and Stephen, are very close with us as a bunch. So it's a it's a very close knit team. My opinion on the mechanics from the paddock would be that everyone in that paddock knows what they've got to do, and there's a lot of respect throughout the paddock for the mechanics because it's not an easy championship with the tight turnarounds we have. And throughout a race weekend when stuff goes wrong, like there's, there's times where stuff may happen and your back's against the wall, but that level of confidence in yourself and the team to get the car back out in the right time frame, is, uh, it, it comes over time, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you become and the more natural it becomes. Um, mechanics themselves like away from the track they're lovely to talk to like I know quite a few mechanics from other teams so, like there's no issue at all we just chat to them have a laugh and uh, yeah it's, it's wicked to be honest it's a lovely championship and the mechanics are wicked people in terms of me adapting my work style if you want to call it that to WSR and the British touring car itself I wouldn't say I've really adapted anything I've learnt the way because it's my first a real kind of job in motorsport uh, I learnt spanners and my basic mechanical knowledge on HGVs whilst I was at college but uh, now I've landed a job with WSR you really learn the ways within the motorsport industry um, learn how everything's done the correct way to do things to keep it professional and making sure that everything's perfect and that if it's not perfect it doesn't go on the car because you can always find that some things you'll do you'll go oh that'll be alright that'll go but with this level of motorsport that isn't acceptable it has to be perfect and if things go to plan 
BMW will have a successor to legendary Colin Turkington. Jake Hill could soon take on the reins of BMW WSR. With his mentor Matt Bundle, he seemed to be a future title winner. And if he can match the reins of Colin Turkington, I've no doubt BMW will get 10 titles pretty soon.